Hey, geometry. Going to talk to you about similar right triangles now. In this picture, we can add another right angle. And there are really three right triangles pictured here. That's the first one. And we can see it pictured over here separately. The name of that triangle would be triangle ADB. The second triangle in the picture is this one. And it is pictured over here. And the name of that triangle would be triangle BDC. And the last triangle in this picture would be that one. which is also pictured here. And the name of that triangle would be triangle ABC. Now, I'm going to show you how to solve some problems when it comes to these similar right triangles. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my small triangle and I'm going to write down in this table the values and variables that I have there. SL stands for the short leg and that is 3. LL stands for the long leg and that is X. Hypotenuse stands for the longest side, but there is no value or variable there. So I'm just going to leave that spot blank. Now for the medium triangle. That is going to be the blue one. So for the blue triangle, SL, the short leg, is X. LL, the long leg, is 6. Again, we do not have a value or variable for the hypotenuse. So we're going to leave that spot blank. And now, for the large triangle. We don't have anything over here on this side, which is the short leg. And we don't have anything over here on this side, which is the long leg. So. We're going to leave both of those spots blank. But we could add together 6 and 3 to make 9 for the hypotenuse. So we filled in as much of this table as we can. The reason that we filled in, our, in this table is because we are looking for a block of four items. We have a block of four items right there. We are going to take those four items over to the side, set up a proportion with them, and cross multiply. So I'm going to cross multiply 3 and 6 together, as well as x and x. That's going to make x squared equals 18. To get rid of the exponent, take the square root of both sides. So x equals the square root of 18. The square root of 18 can be represented as 3 square root 2. So that would be our final answer. 
in the next example. Here's our small triangle. All we know about this small triangle this time is that the short leg is x. Here's the medium triangle. We don't know the short leg of the medium triangle, but we know that the long leg is 5 and the hypotenuse is 9. And then for the large triangle, We don't know the short leg, but we know the long leg is 9. And we can add together x plus 5 to represent the hypotenuse. Here we've got the block of 4. So we're going to take those items over here to the side. And we're going to cross multiply. So I'm going to cross multiply 5 with x plus 5 and 9 with 9. Notice I'm going to use the distributive property here. 5x plus 25 equals 81. Subtract 25 from both sides. 5x equals 66. Divide by 5 on both sides. We get 11.2. So that's how you solve similar right triangles.